Hey everyone, welcome back to effect for you channel. Today, we are going to create, modern freeze frame character intro, like this. So let's get started. First create a new composition, 1920 by 1080, I call this main comp. Then create a new composition, this is our image and video placeholder. Drag your footage into the timeline. Then create one more composition. And I call this freeze frame. Drag placeholder into the timeline and move the time indicator where you want to freeze your character. I want to freeze my character around 3 second. So right click go to time and select freeze frame. So this will freeze our frame. Now delete the front part of the layer and move the layer in first frame. Now search fast blur effect. Go to first frame and add a keyframe. Then go to 20 frame forward. And change blurriness 40. And check repeat edge pixels. Then search tint effect. And change the white map color as you like. Then search motion tile effect. And increase output width and height 250 by 250. And check mirror edges, this effect required when we animate our placeholder, so hit S for scale, go to first frame, and add a keyframe, then go to 20 frame forward, and change the scale 80%. Then go to 4 to 5 second forward, and change scale 70%. Select all keyframes and easy ease them and make your graph like this perfect now create new black solid layer then select ellipse tool and create a circle like this change mask cap to subtract open mask property and increase the feather and mask expansion this will give vintage look to our comp. Now duplicate the placeholder comp layer. And move above the black solid layer. And delete the all the effects. Then right click and pre-compose them. And I called this, smoke mask. Now open it. Go to first frame. And delete all scale keyframes. Now select Ben tool, and create mask according to your character. I am skipping this part so that you do not have to wait. After creating mask our comp look like this. Now go to freeze frame comp. Select smoke mask layer, and search fill effect. Change fill color white. Then search fast blur effect and increase blurriness 250, then search turbulent noise effect. Change fractal type rocky. Contrast 300. Brightness minus 10. Complexity 4. Now open transform, and change scale around 150. Now animate the offset turbulence, so go to first frame, and add a keyframe and change the Y offset around 700, then go to 5 second forward, and change the Y offset 70, so it will be seen going top side of the composition. Cool. Now animate the evolution, so hold Alt key and click on stopwatch icon, and type expression, time into 300. So this will look like smoke. Perfect. 
Now go to project window, here I have some elements, so drag the smoke footage into the timeline. Change mode normal to screen. Our smoke footage is little slow, so right click, go to time, and select time stretch, change stretch factor 50%. Perfect. And also resize the smoke layer. Cool. Now drag fire particle into the timeline. And change mode screen. Now duplicate the smoke mask comp layer. And move above the fire particle. And change the layer name mask footage. Delete all the effects. Now we want to create outline to our character, so select the layer, go to layer menu, go to layer style, and select stroke, open stroke and change the color white, and increase size 10. Cool. Now select mask layer, and search tint effect. Then search on sharp mask and increase radius 20. This will give sharp look to our character. Now go to project window, and drag dust grunge footage into the timeline, and change layer mode screen, also increase the layer size little bit. Then drag plus footage into the timeline, and change mode screen, also increase the size. Now we need to animate our character, so create a new null layer. And parent mask footage with null layer. Select null layer hit S for scale, go to first frame, and add a keyframe, then go to 20 frame forward, and change scale 110%. Then go to around 4 to 5 second forward, and change the scale, 120%. Select all keyframes, and easy ease them. And make your graph like this. Perfect, it's look good to me. Now we need to add our text, so create a new composition. This is our text1 comp. Select text tool and type your text, now we need to animate this. So open text layer, go to animate, select position, and opacity, and change Y position, around 300, and opacity 0%, now open range select 1, then open advance, and change shape ramp up. Now animate the offset, go to first frame, and add a keyframe and change offset minus 100%, then go to 1 second forward, and change offset 100%, select both keyframes and easy ease them, and make your graph like this. Cool. Now duplicate the text layer, move bottom side of the main text, and you can also change the font. Now we need to change the animation of this text, so open text layer, then open animator 1, and change y position 0, and x position, around 300. And also move the layer few frame forward. Now go to freeze frame comp, and drag the text comp into the timeline, also move the layer few frame forward. and move text layer where you want. Perfect, it's look good to me. Now create an adjustment layer. This is our color correction layer. Now search color balance HLS effect, and change the saturation around minus 30. Now search noise effect, and increase noise amount 15%, then search Venetian blinds effect. Change direction 90 degrees, 
transition completion 15%, width 5, and feather around 1. This will give our comp, old TV look. Now search curves effect, and adjust your curves according to your choice. Perfect. Here I have light leak footage. So drag the footage into the timer line. And change layer mode screen. Perfect, it's look good to me. Now go to main comp. Drag placeholder comp into the timer line. And move the time indicator where we have freezed our frame. As I freeze my frame in 3 seconds, so go to 3 second forward, then drag freeze frame into the timer line, and trim the placeholder after 3 second, now duplicate the placeholder layer, and move above the freeze frame layer, and trim the layer before 3 second, and move the layer 3 to 4 second forward. Cool. Now we need to add transition between two layers, so create an adjustment layer. And trim the layer a little bit. Go to first frame of adjustment layer, and search exposure effect. And add a keyframe on exposure and change amount 4. Then go to few frame forward. And change exposure amount 0. Move the adjustment layer, where our freeze layer start. Then duplicate the adjustment layer, and move when second placeholder layer start. Perfect, it's look good to me. Select all layers and pre-compose them. This is our scene 1 comp. Now create scene 2 comp, so duplicate the scene 1 comp layer. Then go to project window, and duplicate the scene 1 comp here. Now hold alt key and drag the scene 2 comp over the duplicate scene 1 layer and move the layer around 7 to 8 frame forward. Open scene 2, we need to replace all these pre-comp, first select both placeholder layer, then go to project window, and duplicate the placeholder 1 here, hold alt and drag placeholder 2 over the placeholder 1, similarly replace freeze frame layer also, Now open placeholder, and change your footage. Now open freeze frame 2 comp, also replace this placeholder 1 with placeholder 2. We also need to replace smoke mask comp, so go to project window and duplicate the smoke mask comp, hold alt key and drag smoke mask 2 over the smoke mask comp layer, and also replace with mask footage. Because this is also smoke mask layer, we just duplicate it. So replace this mask footage with smoke mask 2 comp. Open smoke mask 2, and replace placeholder 1 with placeholder 2. Select mask and delete them. Then create new mask according to the character. I am skipping this part so that you do not have to wait. Perfect. Here you can see our comp. Cool. You can also replace your text comp. Go to project window and duplicate the text comp, and change your text.
cool. Our animation has done, hit zero for ender. Thanks for watching, I hope you like the video. If you like the video please share it, like it, and subscribe our channel, for more tutorial I'll see you in the next video.